The exhibition Louis Kahn, The Power of Architecture, is devoted to his work and looking at central themes. The first one being his preoccupation with the city of Philadelphia, where he came as a young child of Estonian immigrants and considered Philadelphia as a city of opportunities where a young boy could find what he wanted to do. In his case, that was architecture, where he studied, established his office, worked and taught. He was using Philadelphia as an urban laboratory um, to develop his ideas on urban planning, but also ideas that were then informative uh, for his architecture. The city of Philadelphia was to be redeveloped in Kahn's early years as an architect in the mid-1940s, a huge redevelopment project, probably the largest in 20th century in America. The section looks at Kahn's new discovery of architectural history and during three long travels in Italy and Greece, but also seeing the pyramids in uh, Egypt. The next section is science, the question of how findings in natural sciences form architectural thinking. Um, there were many findings in microbiology and it's probably no coincidence that one of the two most important buildings of his were laboratories. The Richards Medical Towers in Philadelphia being the first building that he actually became internationally known for. The findings that the microscopic elements of life are actually based on simple geometry. This inspired him to think that if nature is building this way, architects should be building the same way. This theme is also looking at his relationships with engineers such as the August Commandant, a pioneer in building with prefabricated concrete, as well as his collaboration with Robert Le Ricollet, who taught with Kahn at the University of Pennsylvania, and he did tension tests and pressure tests to develop the ideal light space frames. And this is the subject of home. It's a cabinet. It took three years to build. It's it also took four years to design. But I want you to look at this and to imagine from the picture up on the wall, this wonderful house of two cubes. It's got a very homey feel, but the way the two cubes are connected are actually quite aggressive. One is public space, one is private space. You know, maybe that's a commentary on Khan's part of tensions that we have between our public selves and our inner lives uh, playing out in the form of a house. So it's really a very challenging house in that regard. In the section landscape, we are looking at Kahn's buildings and their relation to the surrounding site. Um, the Kimball Art Museum being an ex important example where he created a building that is set in a beautiful park. Vaulted roofs have long slits and light of the sun enters, reflected by aluminum reflectors onto the inner concrete walls. This is a model from showing Noguchi's work in the 1930s, the results of that collaboration. And really two great artists are way kind of wrestling one another. One of his first ideas he called Play Mountain. These were all ideas that were very fascinating to Khan. And together you see them coming together here, but you also see the presence of architecture. Another section addresses Kahn's approach to the history of architecture. A large plan, uh, the Campo Marzio, created by Piranesi, that actually hung in Kahn's office. And we're showing how he reinterpreted architectural history, not by copying styles, but by uh, recreating archetypical spatial patterns and by creating buildings that appear monumental, archetypical and timeless. He saw the plan of a building as a society of rooms that speak to each other. The exhibition culminates in a section on the role of architecture in society. Kahn was an architect that was known to create institutions, an architect that was interested in creating buildings that serve a community and create identity. And this he achieved in two projects in Southeast Asia, in India, the Indian Institute of Management in Ahmedabad, of which we are seeing a site model, as well as a model of the main school building of the campus, but foremost the National Assembly building and capital complex in Dhaka in Bangladesh, of which we are showing a wonderful sectional model.
and most importantly a beautiful film that Nathaniel Kahn has done exclusively for this exhibition that shows in 10 minutes the importance of this building and this whole site uh, for the population in the city of Dakar. In